what is up with these sinkholes? I've been hearing a lot about sinkholes lately. I mean, I know a lot of them happen in Florida, and uh, but they also been happening all over America and all over the world. You know, these sinkholes is scary. You know, to see the the ground just open up like that and it swallows whatever. You know, whether it's uh, buildings or uh, vehicles or, or people, you know, it will swallow whatever. You know, what is going on? You know, people will say, oh, these things, you know, are normal. You know, I don't think it's normal. You know, it's signs of the times. You know, that's really what it is, you know, but they don't have the answers, you know, so they'll just say it's normal. But um, I've been doing a little bit of uh, Bible study, and it actually talks about a sinkhole in the book of Numbers, chapter 16, verses 28 through 33. It says, And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord has sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth opened her mouth, and swallowed them up with all that appertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, then the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses and all the men that appertained unto Korah, and all their goods, they and all that appertained to them went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. That is scary, you know. I mean, the earth just opened up, and it just swallowed them up, and all of their goods and everything, you know. And that's what's happening today, you know. And it's because those people have provoked the Lord, you know. And I just think of today. You know, how America, you know, as a nation, how we have provoked the Lord, you know, by um, uh, calling evil good and good evil, you know, by accepting abominations, you know, I mean, kicking God out of everything. I mean, that's definitely provoking the Lord. So I believe that's one reason why these uh, sinkholes are happening. In Hosea chapter 4, verses 1 through 3, it says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. They break out and blood touches blood, therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwells therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. See, in verse 3, the first part of, of verse 3, it says, Therefore shall the land mourn. That's what's going on. The land is mourning because of the effects of sin. You know, that's another reason. You know, people don't, a lot of people don't understand, you know, the effects of sin, you know, how powerful sin is and how damaging it is to to us and, and to the earth. You know, Paul talked about that in uh, Romans chapter 8, verses 18 through 23. It says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. 
For we know that the whole creation groans and travails in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, who or which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit, the redemption of our body. See, that's what's going on. I mean, the earth is, is groaning and it's, it's in pain. That's why, you know, sinkholes are happening and, and, and not just sinkholes, but, you know, extreme weather and earthquakes and droughts and, and diseases and violence. I mean, everything is to the extreme, you know, and it's because of the effects of sin. Everything we say, do, and think of that is sin, you know, it's, it's hurting ourselves and it's hurting the, the earth, you know. I mean, every day, you know, the earth is decaying more and more, and so are our bodies, you know. That's why Paul said we groan within ourselves, you know. It's not just the earth, but it's, it's everybody, every human being, you know. I mean, we are living in the last days. There's all kind of weird things happening. Please watch my video titled, Now is the Day of Salvation, to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. We are living in the last days. Time is definitely running out. 